this research has just been fuel on our fire to keep us moving. I don't know what we would have done with quantitative research, but with qualitative research and the kind that you did, there's a whole lot we can do. We've got meat on the bones here to think through and action the responses. Welcome to In the Know, a podcast by No Research. My name is Emily Bray. I am No Research's coordinator, and I'm so happy to be joined today by Nancy Ninziati, Chief Strategy Officer of Peace by Peace International, and Lori Pastrone, Founder and CEO of Peace by Peace. No Research worked with Peace by Peace this year as part of our annual pro bono project. Welcome both. Thank you. Great to be here. Lori, can you just give us a little background on Peace by Peace International and then talk about what you wanted to learn from this research? Peace by Peace is a company that is trying to transform the way corporations buy gifts for employees, for clients, and stakeholders. We work with teams of artisans and makers that are part of underserved communities. Very talented individuals who may have been homeless, may have been incarcerated, victims of sex trafficking. The vast majority are women, and they are simply individuals who need a second chance. Through the purchase of the gifts that they make, corporations can literally change the trajectory of the lives of some of these individuals. When we were selected for your project, there were a couple of things that we wanted to really affirm. And one was, how much does it matter to a gift recipient that their gift was socially important, that it was a consciously chosen gift? What were the barriers in front of corporations in buying socially responsible and very conscious and purposeful gifts? And you've helped us to understand some of those as well. And we're looking forward to putting some of our learnings into practice. I'm so grateful to, to have been a part of this from start to finish. Just to recap, the No Research team took a four-phase approach. We spoke to 28 participants across these four phases in speaking to both gift recipients and corporate gift purchasers. We had an interim workshop with the piece by piece team in between audiences to understand where we needed to pivot and learn more. And I think across these four phases, we got some great insights. We would just love to know what were some of your key takeaways? The learnings that we got from the gift purchasers that you spoke with were really some of the most important findings for us. You took each of them to our website and showed them our website and asked for their very open opinions. We learned that we're not getting our story across as well as we know we need to. We feel that we can be a real partner to gift purchasers and that we can make their jobs not only easier in many ways, but we can make it more purposeful. And that's something that we heard from gift buyers over and over again. Corporations want to be able to buy gifts easily, quickly, and they want them to have meaning. As an enterprise, we need to be able to show them how quickly they can get a gift, that gifts can be branded, that they can go to our website and reach out to us immediately. The learnings that you've provided have really helped us relative to our website and to our marketing communications of what we need to do better to get that message across. Those 22 gift recipients that you interviewed, they consistently brought up sustainability and brought up our planet. And I think coupled with the fact that employers every day are talking about the planet, are talking about their ESGs, are talking about their commitment to the UN's social development goals. I mean, they are hearing this talk. And so I think the idea that a gift that they would be given actually aligns with the talk was really significant. They need to show their employees that their commitment to sustainability is real and that it's not just talk. Receiving a meaningful gift has a, a halo effect on the employer and it will help them retain the employees that they value and care what they think. 
So we learned from gift recipients that they would really find value in these values-based gifts, but we had trouble defining that for them at times. So Lori, would you be able to provide us some examples of the kind of values-based gifts that Peace by Peace International offers? Absolutely. And first, I want to say that one of the things that you helped bring out in your research was this term values-based gifting is something that we have to be very cheerful about because not everybody has heard that. But when we get the opportunity to explain that a gift can directly impact the life of a maker, people start to understand that. For example, we work with a team of people in the northern Paten jungle in Guatemala, where they create the most exclusive wood products you could possibly imagine. In fact, they were just recently picked up to be sold by Liberty Stores in London, one of the most exclusive department stores in London. And we have the opportunity to all also sell those same brandable, beautiful gifts made from wood to our corporate clients. We heard from recipients that receiving a gift would make them feel personally great, but I think it's almost more important how they would feel about their company. We were able to show them the story cards, and I think that made a really huge impact in explaining what these gifts were and how they could make a difference in these makers' lives. Can you give a little background on what the story card is and how that learning was important for the company? Yeah, absolutely. Every single gift that we send out comes with a card. It's like a three by five card that on one side has a story about the community of makers that has made the gift that the recipient is getting. And on the flip side is a highlight of a particular person who works in that workshop, like what their story is, where they came from, how this type of employment has helped them and the difference that it's made in their life and their family's lives. And what we learned through the research was exactly how much of an impact this little card can have. Because someone might get a gift, they're like, oh, this is a beautiful charcuterie board. But then when they see someone came from homelessness or from abject poverty and now has a dignified wage, a job to go to, and the difference that it made in their life, it's just unbelievable. Nancy, I remember some of those quotes. Let's hear from some of the participants who shared how much receiving a gift like this would impact them. I'd probably cry if I got this gift from my company. Like if that was attached to the gift, seeing the impact that a small buying decision from your company can make, I, I feel like that would impact me. It would make me feel like I'm giving back. It would make me feel like I'm, I'm receiving a gift, but also somebody else's as well. Incredible. So I would love to know, we've learned so much. We talked about some of your key takeaways. What are you hoping to do with these insights in the next year, in the next five to 10 years? I think what we need to do is to keep listening to our gift buyers, to our recipient. Our specific actionable items right now certainly start with our website and being able to better tell gift buyers how we can go on this journey with them and how we can make their job easier, how we can make their corporation more in alignment with their values. It's a messaging issue in terms of, we talked earlier about values-based gifting. Does that have any meaning? So I think part of it is messaging. Part of it is amplification of the message. A lot of our business has been word of mouth. So we need to maybe think about how do we extend the reach of that, given the resources that we have to do it. When companies and organizations have taken a step towards this and are giving gifts that have a social, environmental, sustainable impact, it's hard to go back. Where can listeners learn more about Peace by Peace International? Well, you can go to our website, which is pbpinternational.com. I'm going to say it again. It's pbpinternational.com. I'd love to have a conversation a year from now and tell you what specifically we've done to move things along thanks to your work. This has been a production of No Research.